Okay, and welcome back to another video on algebraic fractions. So there's actually going to be another few videos on these just because they're so fun. Uh, no, because there's a there's a good bit that people always kind of get wrong. So we're trying to get those mistakes out at the, top, at the start when we get a good base of algebra before we start with the other topics. So we'll start just as we started the other one. So it's the exact same as the 1 over A plus 1 over B. We want the lowest common denominator, so the number on the bottom, to be the same. So in this case, it happens to be X plus 1 multiplied by... 2x plus 3, so it's the two numbers in the bottom just multiplied by each other, and that's generally going to be the case with algebraic fractions with uh, variables rather than with numbers. So it's going to be the two things in the bottom just multiplied by each other. Okay, so I'll write those two here, and then we're going to figure out what's going to go on the top x plus 1 and 2x plus 3. Okay, so what goes in the top is what wasn't there before, and also the, the 2 here stays on the top so that's something we didn't have with the last case because it was just 1 over a so the 1 didn't really come into effect but the 2 here has to stay on the top okay multiplied by the 2x plus 3 okay so you leave the 2x to this fraction here that doesn't affect this one at all so it's just what was here that before the 2 and the 2x plus 3 okay and again the reason for this is if we want to cancel these 2x plus 3 2x plus 3 we're left with just 2 over x plus 1. So we're left what we had at the start. So again, we're not changing anything. We are just writing it in a different way so that we can add the two fractions. Okay? So 2 multiplied by 2x plus 3. And on this side, we're going to have 2x multiplied by, I'm just not writing the multiplied by in there, you don't need to, x plus 1. Yeah? If you write two, the two things beside each other with bracket, that means they're multiplied by each other. So uh, again, what wasn't here before, which was the x plus 1, because in this case there's no x plus 1. And again, we could cancel these and we'd be left with what we had at the start. Does that make sense, yeah? So again, I'm just going to multiply this out first before I um, add them together. So it's, this is going to be, sorry, it's not going to be a 2. It's going to be 4x plus 6 on the top because it's going to be 2 by 2x and then 2 by 3. All divided by, let's squeeze this in really quickly, x plus 1, 2x plus 3 plus... x plus 1 and 2x plus 3 uh, and on the top here it's going to be 2x by x is going to give us 2x squared and then 2x by 1 is going to be plus 2x so let me scroll down here um, oh no running out of space okay I'm going to squeeze this in here so we're just going to squeeze this whole thing in on the top okay so it's going to be then 4x plus 6 plus 2x squared plus 2x all over one fraction. So this is now we're adding the two fractions together. x plus 1 and 2x plus 3. Okay. And then equals to, so I'm just going to put all this together. We're going to be left with 2x squared, which is the 2x squared on its own. The 2x plus the 4x is going to give us 6x. And then this is going to give us plus 6 all over x plus 1 and 2x plus 3. So that's our answer for when we add these two fractions together, okay? Sorry, let's see those. So again, you want the same thing on the bottom, so your lowest common denominator, and then whatever wasn't there before, so we didn't have the 2x plus 3, goes and multiplies by whatever was on the top. Okay, does that make sense? So add those two together, and then once the bottom is the same, you can just add the two fractions together as if it was normal. Okay, so we're going to do some harder examples in the next video, so make sure you have that down. Uh, this one here then, so I didn't leave much space, but I'll just change the colour to green. Uh, again, this is the easiest one again, just top by the top and the bottom by the bottom. This doesn't change ever. Okay, so we're going to be left with 4x on the top, yeah, because 2 by 2x is going to be 4x. And on the bottom, you don't have to multiply it out, you can just keep it in the brackets. just makes it tidier and less work for you to do, and that's fine like, like the way it is. Yeah, so again, multiplying is always the same, it's always fairly straightforward. And the last one they're dividing again doesn't change so we're gonna flip it so we're gonna have 2 over x plus 1 and the second one we're gonna have 2x plus 3 over 2x okay so again we're gonna invert this 
Sorry, it's getting a little bit messy, but we're invert this or turn it upside down, and then we're going to multiply the two by each other. So it's, it's, again, it's whenever you're doing fractions, it's always the same, no matter if they're x's, a's, b's, or numbers. It's the same rules. So we're just teaching the kind of basics first, so you can so you know the principles, and then you can do it to any no matter how difficult the question. You should be able to use these rules. Okay, and so we're going to multiply these two in the top. It's going to be two by two x plus three, and on the bottom, I'm just going to write the two x over here and x plus 1, it doesn't matter what order you write those in, uh, yeah, okay, and you can cancel out these two twos, we're going to go into that in the next video, but for now I just wanted to show you it's the exact same for no matter what kind of x's or a's or b's you have, still the same rules for adding, multiplying and dividing uh, two fractions by each other, so does that make sense, so we have to flip it and then we have to multiply them by each other, okay, I hope all that, that all made sense, thank you.